Breaking news tonight, the Orlando cop killer is still on a run. Now police have increased the reward for information leading to the capture of uh, Markeith Lloyd to 100000 This unfolding as members of Congress go tit for tat in a fight over a controversial painting that's been hanging in the Capitol. It depicts police as pigs. The painting has been ripped down today three times and put back up three times. Joining me now to discuss Leah Gabriel and Congressman Dave Reichert. Uh, Congressman, I want to start with you. I know you're a former sheriff and you have real strong opinions about this. You think this is, could have deadly consequences to the, the actions by members of the Congressional Black Caucus? Well, I, I think that, uh, you know, when you look at this in totality and the way that it's been um, sort of ramped up the last few days, my fear is that this gets really expressed um, in, a, in a violent way somewhere. This gets ramped up to uh, a racially charged issue, which it should not at all become, and that lives then would be put in danger. So I am concerned about that, and I, and I don't think it's the right way, uh, you know, to go, the right thing to do is to go take these paintings down, put them back up, take them down, put them back up. It's sort of a childish move here, so what we've done is we've researched the rules. We did this on Friday. We received complaints. Uh, so 33 years as a cop, you know, I'm all about enforcing the laws and the rules. And the rules uh, specifically state that a painting of this nature should not be allowed to hang in, in our capital. You know, um, even without the rules, Leah, I mean, in the timing of it, of course, when two police officers were gunned down, well, one was gunned down, one died during the manhunt proceedings, but a young woman, with kids, a great career, uh, someone involved in the community, you just got to wonder what the, what, you know, why, why, why would these, right. these representatives be so insistent on this? Yeah, and you know, you mentioned the officer who was gunned down. I think it's important to highlight that that she was a black officer, and that this this racial tension that's been developed uh, often almost makes it seem as though it's it's a racial issue between officers and other people. But the fact is, many of the officers mm -hmm. that are killed in the line of duty who are who have been gunned down are actually black. You know, in this particular painting, uh, Congressman Clay, uh, it's from his district, an 18-year-old constituent that painted this, and it was part of a congressional art contest, and. Congressman Clay basically says this is freedom of speech. Well, both Republicans and Democrats support freedom of speech. You have people like Mitch McConnell who have been staunch defenders of, uh, of people being allowed to burn flags even right. though it's offensive, right. for example. But at the same time, even if it is freedom of speech, you, a you have to consider what's going on in the country at this time and whether or not it's appropriate, whether or not it's really something that we need to have hanging on our capital right yeah. now, and I think the answer is no. And, and I'm sure there are other forms of freedom of speech that Representative Clay would hate to see on those walls. Uh, Representative Reichert, have you had an opportunity to go and speak with your colleague or, or some of the others that are supporting his actions? Well, I, I've spoken directly with Mr. Clay, and in fact, on Friday, I contacted him and said, hey, you know, we can work this out. Let's find a way. Can you contact the artist and maybe put up a positive piece about Ferguson? Because it's been two years. You have to have some positive news coming out of Ferguson that you can depict in a, in a painting and take this one down because it's divisive. And the answer I got was maybe the question, uh, Dave, uh, we should be asking is how in the world did this young person ever get this twisted view of law enforcement in the first place? Yeah. And I said, you know, I agree, but maybe that question should be asked of the people who live in Ferguson. Maybe this art piece should be hanging in the city hall at Ferguson and not in the national capital. And remember, too, yesterday was National Law Enforcement Appreciation yeah. Day. Yeah. And those two officers were killed on that day. Yeah. And then we have this controversy. So we've submitted a letter to the architect of the Capitol, and we are asking him to review the rules, and we are very confident that when he looks at the rules again, this painting will be down by the end of the week. You know, for Clay, for Representative Clay to say that, I think is disingenuous and species at best, because this sort of thing perpetuates that kind of anger that leads to this painting. Thank you both very much. Really appreciate it. Now